How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I was in Tokyo for two weeks, so today I'm gonna share 12 mind-blowing things that I saw there. Everybody in Tokyo stands on the left side of the escalator. For the fast-moving people, they always go on the right side. You can see here, a group of fast-moving people with single file go up the escalator. You don't see a lot of trash cans everywhere. I always have little bits of trash in Hong Kong. There's like a trash can very, very nearby all the time, but here, I have to hold it for many, many blocks before I could actually find a trash can anywhere. And yet, all over the streets, there's not much trash on the floor. It seems like people just hold on to the trash until they find a trash can. And yet, they don't have to put that many trash cans around everywhere. You hear that? That's like musical chairs before you can get in. When the music... When the music is playing, that's when you know you have some time to get on the train. When the music stops, it's like musical chairs. The gates close. The train doors will close on you after it stops. Smoking on the street is prohibited. Not only can you not walk around and smoke, you cannot smoke here either. Over there is a no smoking sign as well. I like this. This contributes to why I can actually breathe while walking around in Japan and not starting to have my chest feel pains. Oh my goodness, this guy is vacuuming the stairs. Check this out, a seat in an elevator. And then you have cool parking elevators for your cars. This guy is getting his car and as soon as he gets it, he's backing up into this little circle which is gonna turn his car around for him so he doesn't have to back out of the parking garage. This is an umbrella bagger. It keeps your umbrella from dripping all over the place with a little bag. Of course I didn't do it right. This contraption will hold your umbrella and give you a key. When you're ready, you put the key back and get your umbrella back. Look at this interesting toilet. It can actually flush small or large. And let's say when I flush small, when it refills this tank, water comes through here, you can wash your hands, and the water goes back into the tank for the flushing of the next time. These seats are usually heated. Let me feel. Yeah, it is heated. This is big flush, small flush, men's, women's. This little thing over here is for massage, and then once you have it going, you can adjust the pressure of the water over here. And then for women, you can adjust it forward or back to position the little nozzle thing. If you keep on pushing this button, it will adjust the water temperature. And this one is a seat temperature. This one is clean nozzle. What? Seat up, down. Lid up, down. Nice. Up, lid. Up, seat. Lid down. Oh, it does it one at a time. Seat up. It does the lid first, and then does the seat. Oh, great. The toilet paper is used up. All you have to do is just pull it up like this, and it comes off. Then over here, you remove the new roll. Make sure it's in the correct position. And then you basically just slide it up this thing until it locks in, and bam! It's done. This is a urinal game. There's a bullseye in the urinal. If you hit that for a long period of time, you'll get the most points. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I have an audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.